Hey everybody, it's Adam. Um, I know I fail miserably at making updates the last few months. Um, pretty much since December, my life has just been crazy. And oh, uh, sometimes I feel like I don't even have five minutes for me. Although, what am I doing? Sitting on my ass, doing nothing all day for me. Actually, that's a lie. I haven't been doing nothing. I've been doing everything today. Um, so here's a quick update, I guess, of what's been going on with me lately. Um, my girlfriend and I broke up uh, about a week ago. Um, so I've got to find a place to live at the end of May. Um, I got fired from my job about a week before my girlfriend broke up with me. Um, because I had too many personal problems, apparently. Um, and a lot of that was having to do with my transition. Um, I've just been having a lot of issues with it lately, because, like, I don't know. Um, well, my T levels, which I'll get to in a second, got changed, um, in January, and honestly, I think that fucked around with my, uh, emotions in my head a bit, and honestly, I think that's what ended up getting me fired. Um, because, like, I just, I was so emotional, I couldn't, like, I don't know, I couldn't get a grip, like, right when it was around my shot, and so I actually ended up getting fired the day before my shot, and, like, I don't know, it was, like, even everybody at my work says it was complete bullshit, because I worked harder than majority of the people there, but whatever, nonetheless, I'm fired from my job, so I'm looking for a job. And I'm looking for a new place to live for the end of May. Um, I am taking applications for girlfriends. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm totally kidding. Um, but yeah, um, I am single. Um, and so what else is going on? Um, specifically with my transition, what's going on? Um, I don't know why I've been feeling so dysphoric lately. Um, but I have been. And... I just feel like it doesn't matter what I do, like, ev like other people are only going to think of me as a freak. I'm never going to be technically 100% male, like, according to, you know, the world, because I wasn't born male, I won't ever be male. But I'm not a girl, like, I can't not transition. This isn't a choice, this isn't something I'm choosing to do. I'm not choosing for my family to have completely stopped talking to me. I'm not choosing to have all this debt because I have $100 vials of testosterone to buy every two months. Like, this isn't something I'm choosing to do, but um, my father says it is. And he says I'm only hurting every person that I come in contact with and it's only making me happy and just all this shit, and so, I don't know, I've been thinking about it, and, like, I, I know everything he said was bullshit, but I listened to him anyways, and so I was feeling a bit down about my transition, and, like, I really wanted to stop, like, well, I don't want to stop, I want to be a man, um, I wish I was just born a bit man, um, but I was, like, I was saying to my mom, like, or maybe it was my dad, I don't know. But I was saying, this is not a choice. I'm not choosing to make my life harder. If anything, I'd want to make my life easier. Um, but so, yeah, so I've been having a lot of problems with um, my transition. Like, I know it's what I want to do, and it's what I have to do, and it's who I am. But... I've been having a really hard time lately not having my family for support and I don't know just feeling I guess like even my friends that think of me as a guy if they know about my transition I feel like they don't think of me 100% male and one of my friends actually proved to me the other day that even though um, I'm male, and they've only ever known me as Adam. They know about my transition, and um, just one of, something they said or did um, the other day, it was really obvious that 
they did not think of me as 100% male. Like, they did their other male friends. And so, it, like, it's been bothering me a lot lately. Um, but I'm, do I'm doing a lot better with it now, because, like, I know this is who I am, and I know this is what I have to do. It just sucks. You know, well, it doesn't suck. I, I like who I am because of my transition. Um, I'm a more passionate and passionate, compassionate, um, and like caring, understanding, patient person, um, because of my transition. Um, and I honestly, I don't know if I'd like who I would be if I didn't transition, like if I didn't have to trend, like if I was still Stephanie and I never had to go through this transition stuff. I wouldn't end up being the same person, and I don't know if I'd like who I would be if I didn't. Um, but so yeah, um, that's what's been going on with like general transition. Um, but I also I had my T dosage up upped in January, um, from thirty five milligrams every two weeks to a um, forty milligrams every two weeks and I did that for a month and then after that I got bumped up to 50 every two weeks um, which I did for about a month and then I started doing 25 milligrams every week um, so it's still 50 milligrams every two weeks I just take a shot every week so I do 25 and then 25 um, and I've noticed doing them weekly um, first of all up until I started doing them weekly, I think in the full year, I didn't do my shot on my shot Monday twice. And on those two times, I did them the very next day. <laughs> um, so doing weekly shots, I've noticed really bad, really, really bad at actually doing them on time. I don't know why, um, but I always end up doing it Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, <laughs> not really that great. I got to get more... Mondays, um, and also, um, I've noticed that my mood, like, I don't know, it was, like, before when I was on T, I could literally feel, like, right before, like, the last few days before my shot, I could feel just, like, the gas in my tank just go, and then, like, for the day or two after, until it picks up, you, like, I could feel it, and it, it sucked feeling the lack of testosterone in my body. I could feel it, and it, yeah, it was draining on it, honestly. And so, yeah, now I don't feel that lack of testosterone. It feels a lot more level and normal. Um, I'm getting more facial hair and stuff now. Um, my voice got deeper, I think, a little bit more. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Um, I got a haircut about a week or two ago. Um, I've noticed definitely in the last year, like, my body has gotten a lot more masculine. I didn't notice it until um, yesterday when I went to go put on some clothes that I haven't wore since last April. Like, legitimately have not worn in over a year. And I went to go try to put them on, and they just fit tight or small or... They don't fit my body anymore. It's good, but it's annoying. <laughs> and then um, the only other update I have, I guess, uh, I have surgery with Dr. Joffrey. I had my consultation October 21st, and I hadn't heard from him at all since then. So I called them today, and they said I am still on the waiting list, and that I will be in for surgery by, they said September 20, or September 19th originally, and then they changed it to October 19th because my surgeon's going away, for, uh, taking a month off for vacation. Um, but so yeah, I will be in for surgery before October, or by October of this year, which is awesome. I'm super stoked. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much what's going on right now. Um, I will make another update soon. I promise. I will get better on this. Um, but anyways, take care. Have a good Easter weekend. Bye, guys.